This is the King's Martial Arts Fitness Test. In this test, you will complete five different activities to see if you are physically fit for earning your patch here. The first activity being push-ups, next sit-ups, after that would be jumping jacks, punches, and front kicks. Each belt level has a certain amount they have to achieve to achieve your patch. If you achieve 80%, that is four out of five of your exercises completed in the amount of time, and you achieve the number you're supposed to, you will earn the patch. However, if you need to do push-ups on your knees or crunches, don't feel bad. That is totally okay. In that case, you need to complete 100% of your exercises on time with achieving your rank standard. That means five out of five exercises, your push-ups, crunches, jumping jacks, front kicks, and punches need to all be completed to your rank standard in one minute. You cannot fail one exercise if you choose to do knee push-ups or crunches. This is the push-up part of your fitness exam. Our goal is to do as many push-ups as we can within one minute. When we do our push-ups, our goal is to touch our chest to the cone. We will go down and lightly tap the cone. Our goal is not to crush the cone. When we do our push-ups, we want to keep our back straight, which means no mountains, which means we're too high, and no valleys, which means we're too low. We will keep our back straight, and go all the way down, and back up. If you want, you may go on your knees, but the same thing applies. You do not want to go too high or too low. Keep your back straight and do your push-up down to the cone. This is the sit-up portion of your fitness test. Your goal is to do as many sit-ups as you can within one minute. When doing our sit-ups, we are going to go all the way down, up, and high five a partner. If our partner is sitting in front of us, we will lock our legs by putting our feet together and pointing our feet so it wraps around our partner's leg. Same thing, you do your sit-up and do one high five. That's what counts as one sit-up. If your partner is standing up, you will move or they will step on your feet. When you do your sit-ups, high five. That will count as one sit-up. If you're unable to do a full sit-up by yourself or with a partner, it's okay to try crunches. When doing crunches, we will be on our back and our legs will be up. Our goal is to bring our elbows to our knees and try to get your belt off the ground just like so remember when doing your crunches bringing your knees to you does not count as a crunch you must go up and bring your belt off the floor for it to count as a crunch This is the jumping jacks portion of your fitness test. When we do our jumping jacks, we wanna make sure we move our feet together and hands together and clap at the top of each of our jumping jacks. We wanna make sure that we do not make our legs go crazy or to the side like this or the other way like this. We wanna make sure our feet are going together. Make your hands clap at the top and your goal is to do as many jumping jacks as you can within one minute. This is the front kick portion of your fitness exam. When we're doing our front kicks, we wanna make sure we chamber each kick and kick straight out. It's important that we are not kicking too fast or too wild, like so. We wanna make sure we have good front kicks where after each kick, we'll bring our foot back down before you going to our next leg. Our goal is to do as many front kicks as we can within one minute. This is the punching portion of your fitness test. When we are doing our punches, we want to make sure we are in a horseback stance. Our fist will be at our belt. 
And after each punch, we will bring our hand back to the bell, like so. Your goal is to do as many punches as you can within one minute. Remember, all this is for a patch. Don't feel bad if you cannot achieve it. Take your time to practice. We're letting you know now about these requirements so you can practice, so you can get better and achieve those standards. If you want to earn the patch, try your best. Practice every single day. Push-ups, sit-ups, jumping jacks, front kicks, and punches. We know you guys can do it, and I hope to see you get in that patch. Need to pass push ups, sit ups. Nope, push ups, crunches. Dang it. I'm not gonna put that one in there. Okay. Blooper reel. <laughs> Good. Send in the black one. Okay. <laughs> However, if you need to mess up like me, <laughs> you can. <laughs> Dang, I don't even know how I'm gonna start. Welcome to your. Oh, okay, here we go. Welcome to your new me. <laughs> Is my hair good? Okay. No. Nope. Yeah, work out. Nope. Have fun. All right, I think that's it. Okay, now I do a clock push up behind my back. You ready? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that? Did you get that? Yeah, you got it. Three. I don't know if I count that one. Four. Five. You almost just, just planted into the ground. This is the front kick part of your restart. That's right, that's, that's fine. fine. I'll just cut it out. Okay, okay. <laughs> Hold on, look at the car go by. Alright, go. That wasn't in the clip. That was not in the script, buddy. Oh, my bad. Do your sit-ups again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want me to do it that way? <laughs>